Let's talk about my top eight favorite spring vegetables to plant. Welcome to my channel. I am Amber from the blog 1898mama.com. I am a homeschooling, homesteading mom of six. And while this winter seems to last forever, today feels like the first true spring day. We've been outside all morning long. Geese are flying over us. Duck are flying over us. It's just been a glorious spring morning here so far. And I thought today would be the perfect chance to talk to you guys about my favorite spring vegetables that I plant, even though I won't be getting them in the ground anytime soon because right now my garden still has three feet of snow on top of it. Number one, beets. Beets are a great plant to plant in your garden, even if you don't eat them, honestly. They are great for soil health. I like to plant two different kinds of beets, and these are my favorite kinds of beets that I have found so far. What's great about beets is that you can can them, you can eat them raw, you can cook them. Sky's the limit with beets. The two variety of beets that I have found that our family enjoys are the early wonder beets and burpees golden beet. It's really fun to get the different colored beets. The second spring vegetable that you should plant is carrots. Now I don't have a fancy carrot bag right now. All I have is this, which is actually, I now have carrot seed everywhere. But if you can over plant your carrots, I highly suggest doing it. I can never seem to have enough carrots in my garden. And actually what I think is really fun to do is to just kind of throw the carrot seeds all over the garden and just kind of see what pops up where and you kind of get like these crazy carrots popping up everywhere. Carrots are also a great plant to give to the kids to plant so they can practice getting their hands dirty in the garden as well because if they over sow it, not a big deal. Later on, you just thin them out. Number three is lettuce. I eat salad every day for lunch, so I have an insane amount of varieties of lettuce that I plant. I'm gonna go through them with you. I really like the salad blend type of lettuces. So for the first time this year, I am trying the mescaline mix lettuce. I have never tried this before, but I looked up the kind of lettuce that I buy from the store, and this is the variety that that company uses. So I'm gonna try planting this my, myself this year. Rocky Top Lettuce Salad Blends from Baker Creek. I really like this kind. And then I like to do like your typical, just normal green lettuces. So I have Ice Queen, Summertime, Gold Rush. These are kind of the things that I feel like my kids prefer most. They don't really like the purple colored varieties or anything like that. So this, these ones the kids will demolish. I am also trying Grandma Hadley's lettuce for the first time this year. Number four, peas. If you have children, I highly suggest planting snap peas anywhere and everywhere that you can. I do this with snap peas and then later on for summer, um, fall time harvest, I like to have cherry tomatoes or ground cherries kind of everywhere for the kids to snack on. But planting sugar snap peas, is necessary. Next vegetable that you need to plant this spring is radishes. I don't personally eat radishes, none of my kids eat radishes. My husband does, but radishes are really good for soil health and just to kind of get things going in the garden. Spinach. Along with lettuce, I like to throw spinach in my salads, so spinach is definitely a must. Number seven is broccoli. I can never get enough broccoli planted in my garden. We could eat it every meal, every day. And last but not least, the last spring vegetable that I make sure to plant every single year is asparagus. I don't have any seeds left because I got them all started. And then my wonderful toddler got into my seeds and dumped them all over the ground. I tried to salvage what I could. Most things got ruined. These ones are onions right here. But this is all that I've got left for my asparagus. It's two little plants. I try to plant asparagus every year just to get asparagus going throughout the property and have lots of different patches because it is such a long lasting plant that I feel like it's a great thing to get going. There you go. If you were thinking about starting a spring vegetable, these are all great things to start with. Most of them are very beginner friendly and you can sow them right into the ground as the 
soil is workable not all of them but most of them if you have any questions definitely comment down below and i will try to answer them as soon as i can and i will also have the corresponding blog post to this list down below. If you are interested in how to figure out how to plan your entire year's worth of food with your garden, I will link the blog post down below on how I plan our family's year's worth of food with our garden. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe because I have so much garden content coming up for you. Bye.